Good morning children. Let's recap few things. In previous session, we learned about log boards, motor boards, machine boards and their speed. We also saw that log boards are smaller than the long tail, motor boards and machine boards. Hence, the catch of machine boat is more than the other boats. Then we also learned about the bank. How the fisher women started a small bank to save their earning and now with this little earning they want to start a new fish drying factory right yes they are going to start a new fish drying factory come on let's see what is this new fish drying factory the women of Minkan bank also want to start a factory to dry fish the panchayat has given the same land for that Yes, panchayat, panchayat of that village. Over the years, they have saved rupees 74,000. Yes, they have almost saved a lot of money. They have collected, uh, collected and saved a lot of money. Right. So, they find out how much they will need for the factory. Which factory? Fish drying factory, which they want to start. Fazila, who is Fazila? Yes, the president. Fazila writes the things they need to buy to begin the, begin the factory. So, let's see the table for the cost of each item and the number of items they want to buy and then we will also find out the total cost. Yes, now when you want to start a factory, you need many things for that, right? So, we will see what things they need to start a factory, right? Now, here to start a factory, the items needed are bore well for fresh water of course they need bore well right then the price of each is rupees 3000 number of items is needed is one then they need bamboo rack for fish drying yes fish drying so that is rupees 2000 price of each and number of items they need is 20 then they need cement tank only rupees 1000 cost is 1000 and number of items is 4. Tray and knife uh, price is rupees 300 and number of items are 20. Bucket is rupees 75 and number of items are 20. Okay, before that I would like to tell you about something about this fish drying factory. You know what is that? Well, this fish, uh, fish drying factory means they uh, collect uh, the fresh fish and then they actually dry it. Yes, they dry it. And this dried fish is actually really more costlier than the fresh fish, right? Yes, have you seen it any time? I think you must have seen, few people at least must have seen what is a dry fish. Yes, the fresh fish is dried and then it is sold in the market. And if you go to see, the fresh fish is actually cheaper and the dry fish is really costlier. Okay, now we come back to the problem, we come back to the table so these are all the things and the price list is done and the number of items needed now we'll find out the cost how much cost how many things they have listed there is a cost for that so we will find out how much cost is coming so for the bore well the cost is rupees 3000 for bamboo rack the cost is rupees 40000 cement tank cost is 4000 how did you get that 4000 yes rupees 1000 into 4 right Tray and knife, rupees 300 multiplied by 20 into means multiplication into 20. It is 6000. Bucket, rupees 75 into 20 is 1500. So, this is the estimated cost they have, they require for all this thing. Now, we will see how, what is the total. The total cost to set up the factory is rupees 54,500. Yes, rupees 54,500. Now, when the fresh fish is dried, it becomes one third of its weight. Yes, when the fish, the fresh fish, as I told you just now before we start, I told you when fresh fish is dried, it becomes one third of its weight. One third, suppose it is like some weight is there and when it is dried, it becomes one third means it becomes less or more. Yes, it becomes less. The uh, dried fish is less the fresh uh, compared to the fresh fish weight it becomes less right okay now in one month they plan to dry 6000 kg of fresh fish 
yes 6000 kg of fresh fish can anybody tell me how much it is yes 6000 kg right 6000 kg of fresh fish if they are going to dry 6000 fresh fish can anybody tell me what will it be of one third if they dry one third of 6 kg yes we will see now one third into 6000 right one third into 6000 because the 6000 kg of fish when it is dried it becomes one third of its weight so one third into 6000 what you do 6000 you divide by 3 you get 2000 kg of fish so when 6000 kg of fish is dried it comes to 2000 kg right it comes to 2000 kg so how much dried fish will they get in a month they will get 2000 kg how much they are going to get 2000 kg okay i would like to explain this again total cost to set up the factory cost is rupees 54500 they have listed all the things bore well bamboo racks cement tank tray knife bucket etc right you can see the list there the total cost is rupees 54500 when the fresh fresh fish is dried it becomes one third of its weight so in one month they plan to dry 6000 kg of fresh fish yes 6000 kg of fresh fish now one third of 6000 6000 divided by 3 it is equal to 2000 kg so when it is uh, when it is dried it becomes 2000 kg so how much dried fish will they get in a month 2000 kg have you all understood this okay now we go to the next now flora ma is there so she is telling us come on let's first calculate for 6 kg of fresh fish yes can anybody tell me we have learned conversion what is 1 kg 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram right okay now she has decided to calculate for 6 kg of fresh fish right only 6 kg she is trying to calculate if we try 6 kg what money we are going to earn how much money we are going to earn okay after 6000 fresh fish is dried it comes to 2000 so we will see for 6 kg of dried fish now they have given the price fresh fish for uh, the cost is rupees 15 per kg and we sell dried fish for rupees 70 per kg as i told you dried fish is more costlier than the fresh fish cost is for fresh fish it is rupees 15 per kg per kg means 1 kg and the dried fish cost is 70 per kg okay we try 6 kg fresh fish now when you try 6 kg fresh fish to get dash kg dried fish what i told you all when a fresh fish is dried it becomes one third of it so when you try 6 kg what will be the one third of that 6 kg yes any guesses children any guesses you have here yes it comes to 2 kg means uh, 6 divided by 3 so what is the answer 2 kg so we try 6 kg fresh fish to get 2 kg dried fish okay for now we will see how much money she has paid for 6 kg fresh fish how much she has paid now what is the cost for the fresh fish rupees 15 per kg and florama has purchased 6 kg fresh fish so how much she has to pay yes can you guess this 15 into 6 yes 15 into 6 is rupees 19 90 90 90 so she has paid 6 into rupees 15 is equal to rupees 90 right okay now after uh, the 6 kg is dried we are getting 2 kg now what is the cost of the dried fish yes she has got 2 kg dried fish what is the cost 70 per kg so she is now going to sell that 2 kg of dried fish and what is the cost of the dried fish per kg rupees 70 so now she is going to sell that fish how much she is going to sell it for rupees rupees 70 2 into rupees 70 is equal to rupees 100 and 
40 yes after drying 6 kg she got 2 kg of dried fish 6 kg of fresh fish is dried we get 2 kg of dried fish and then uh, she goes to sell that 2 kg she sells it for rupees 70 per kg the answer she will get rupees 140 when she sells that 2 kg dried fish okay so if we try 6 kg fresh fish we will earn how much 140 minus 90 90 of that fresh fish what we have paid so if she now she has got 6 kg fresh fish she has converted to dry fish and now 140 minus 90 something she has earned something extra how much she has earned rupees 50 how we did, how did we get it 140 means rupees 140 minus rupees 90 which is equal to rupees 50 now children come on find out if we try 6000 kg we can earn how much yes how much come on tell me any guesses yes rupees 50 into 1000 because 1 kg, 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram so 6000 kg yes so rupees 50 into 1000 if they dry 6000 kg of fish and now they have earned extra money that is rupees 50 so 50 into 1000 in one month how much she will get rupees 50,000 how much she is going to earn rupees 50,000 isn't it interesting see how much profit they are going to have in this uh, in this fish drying factory so these ladies have come together and they have decided to have a fish drying factory right children so see here what she did Florama she calculated for 6 kg for 6 kg she dried the fresh fish she got 2 kg a fresh fish is dried she got 2 kg of a dried fish fish uh, fresh fish she had purchased 15 per kg for 6 kg the rate is rupees 90 then she sell 2 kg dried fish she uh, then 2 kg is dried fish per kg the dried fish cost is 70 so 2 into rupees 70 is equal to rupees 140 so if we dry 6 kg fresh fish we will earn 140 minus 90 so they have earned extra yes how much they have earned rupees 50 that can be their profit right so they think if we try 6000 kg yes then we can earn rupees 50 into 1000 because 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram right so 15 to 1000 is equal to rupees 50,000 yes see how profitable so they have decided that they want to start the fish drying factory see first of all they started with a bank then they came then after earning a lot of money saving any money so now they have started to op they want they have decided to open a fish drying factory these women have come together they have made a list and now now they have calculated and they thought they have lot of profit right so if they try 6000 kg of it they can earn how much sir 50 into 1000 is equal to rupees 50,000 isn't it interesting yes after this again one worksheet will be shared with your children and you have to solve it on your own and send it to me right children okay so be at home be safe and always and have a good day bye bye children yes